Hey guys, what's up? Got a little update on the Crested Gecko for you. Haven't done it in a while, so figured, you know, gotta get on that. Um, using the MacBook again, I find it really convenient. It's got good video quality. I can use both hands, and, you know, it's nice and steady. Really loving the MacBook, but anyways, this is a video on the Gecko. Uh, if you guys can see him there, he's about 10 to 11 grams, maybe 12 now. Not sure, around there. Um, he looks like he shed not too long ago, but I'm not sure. I've never seen him shed, but I just make sure that he doesn't have any excess skin left over or anything like that. And he doesn't. He's nice and healthy. He's starting to get a bulge on him. Which is, you know, really nice and good, I guess. Let me try and show it to you guys. Ah, no, he won't let you. He hates being flipped around. But let's see if I can get him to jump for us. Go ahead. Or not. There, he just jumped for us. And right before I started this video, he took a poo on me. But he always does, which isn't a big deal to me that much anymore. I know to keep a paper towel with me, and he usually takes the poo on me right away. Um, Alright, so now that I talked and you guys are really bored now, I'm going to go and get some banana for him and feed it for you guys to watch. So I'll be right back with the banana. And I'm back, guys. I got some banana for him upstairs. You only need a tiny little bit. I grabbed this much. He won't eat the whole thing. But I want to show you guys how I feed him. And actually, guys, give me one minute. I'm going to quickly, quickly grab a spoon from my drawer right over there. Alright, so I grabbed the spoon. This is a baby spoon. And try and get him up to the camera as close as possible. Grab some banana, like that much. And just put it to his mouth. Yummy! Yummy, yummy, yummy. Grab some more banana. That much. It's a little bit too much, but he'll eat it. He can handle it. He's a big boy. Look at that. What a good gecko. Hello, Fronic guys. If you guys are looking for a good gecko that doesn't take too much maintenance or anything, I definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and get yourself a crested gecko. But please, please, please do your research. I mean, I would hate for you guys just to go out one day and buy one just as a surprise. Research, find out where they're from. They're really fascinating. There's a lot of cool fun facts about them. And these guys are just great pets. People say they don't notice who you are. I mean, mine does. He always knows that it's me or if it's someone else taking him out from his cage. And they're just great animals, guys. You guys definitely, if you can get one, get one in your area. They're not too expensive. 
they range from prices from I've seen babies for five dollars all the way okay hold on I'm gonna fix him because he started to turn er stay one more banana these guys go from anywhere okay and you want to run away no big deal big boy but as I was saying these guys range from prices of like five dollars for a baby that I've seen to six hundred dollars the most expensive one I've seen mine was a hundred dollars and that's because he's a Halloween crusty are you gonna eat more? I don't know. Are you done? I think he's done. Hold on, we'll see in a minute. Oh no, he's still looking it. So guys, if you can get yourself one research, I know I'm repeating myself, but research, research, research. That's the key to this stuff, guys. Just like anything else you'd get, this is a long term pet. These guys have been known to live for up to 15 years. So make sure you're going to have a place for them, guys. I mean, don't just get them as a pet for a year or two and then, like, oh, I don't want this anymore. No, guys. They live for a long time. They're just like your dog or your cat. You're going to have them for a long time. And they can even outlive your dog or your cat or something, you know? So, Crested Geckos, guys really awesome pets um, I love mine to death <clears throat> I mean look at how cute they are I, how can you not like that one fun fact for you guys is crested geckos don't have eyelashes even though er, what do you call them they can't blink so to clean their eyes off they lick it with their tongue which is really cool um, and you can see he's cleaning his nose right there. I oh, just looked his eyes, see? So, great pets. This is a five minute long video, so all my YouTube subscribers that are subscribed just for my gecko videos, I mean, this one's for you guys, so. If you like the video, please, please, please comment, rate, subscribe. If there's something you want me to talk about about these guys, please let me know and I'll definitely do a video for you guys. All about my subscribers and thankful that I have 160 subscribers now. So thanks guys and let me know what you think of the video. See ya.